Hello and welcome at this video. In this video I'm going to show you how forms in the EXM better integrate now in Sidecore 9.2. Uh, what we're going to achieve is creating a form which I already prepared here and we are going to send an automated email when the user is clicking on the submit button. And the email that is sent by EXM contains the values that are added by the visitor in this form. It is a new feature of 9.2 and very powerful to create personalized experience. So what I can do is um, uh, add a submit action on this button. Um, I choose the send email campaign message and in here I can configure several things. Now I'm switching to EXM for a second. I have already set up uh, an, an email here, which is an automated email, but I did not activate it yet. And it needs to be activated before it's listed here. Uh, but before I can activate it, I need to define which tokens I'm going to use because that is the, uh, the magic that we're going to create. And I can only save the tokens when I have the email campaign selected. So you need to think of the token names up front uh, before you can do anything. Um, but I will walk you through the process step by step. So I'm going to create a token for the full name, one for the email, one for the interest. I'm going to use it custom full name. And I create a second one, which is called custom email and a third one, which is called custom interest. And on the right side, I can specify the foreign field. So full name for full name, email for email and interest for interest. Now, as you can see, I cannot click OK, but what we're going to do is um, copy these tokens, go back to EXM and we're going to edit this message. And in here, I'm going to add the tokens. Now to add the tokens, you can use the dollar sign token name dollar sign, which is the default way, the default syntax in EXM of defining tokens. So this is token one and I can say here, we're going to repeat all the enter data. Oops. So custom full name and we had custom email dollar sign and we had custom interest dollar sign dollar sign. There it is. So dear custom full name, we have received the following values, full name, email, interest. So I'll save this one, then go to delivery and I'm going to activate the message. Yep. And now I'm switching back to forms. Um, I have to cancel this one, uh, clicking apply, because I need to kind of reload the form for the send email campaign message, because uh, I need to display the, the configured email in this list, otherwise it won't be listed. So it's refreshed. Now I have the token test email. I select this email as the campaign message to send. I'm selecting the email field as the uh, field where the email is um, stored, entered by the user to which the email is sent. I leave the identify source as it is and I don't uh, have the consent field. So I leave it empty. Now I'm going to add a token and we had custom full name, we had custom email and we had custom interest. Specify full name here, email here and interest here. Click OK, apply and I'm going to save. Now there is one thing that we need to do. Um, I don't have the consent field, but what will happen on the submit button is that a contact is created um, and at least the email address is added as uh, uh, some information about the contact, but also the consent is set to zero because I don't have anything um, to set the consent here. But in EXM, uh, by default, uh, the service email campaign classification is off. So I have already checked it here, but if it's off, um, EXM is looking at the consent value. And if it's not set to true, um, then the user will not receive this email. So if you create a sign up form or something like this without a consent field, um, then you need to set the classification to service email campaign. So EXM ignores the consent setting. So we have everything configured. I'm going to the content editor and I'm going to I'll refresh this one and I'm going to publish my changed form like 
this. And if we are going to my page, I have already opened it, but I need to refresh it for the latest changes. And then I'm first opening mail trap. Let me delete all the old messages. So this is a developer SMTP service, which you can use to um, catch all the emails sent by ESM. My full name is about Amazon and at macrol.nl and um, my dog is my interest. Hit submit and if everything works out the right way the email will be sent there it is autoresponder and here you will see there about amazon we have received the following values my full name my email address and my dog so this is the way that the integration between forms and exm work in sitecore 9.2